Welcome to our World of Fiery videos, covering topics of everyday importance to print providers. Today we will cover correct PDF booklet settings for digital printing. Booklet design is our next challenge. Common issues we see here are, one, booklet design includes spread in the PDF, two, booklet design has bold trim and crop marks, and three, booklet contains unnecessary blank pages. Once upon a time, we need files for books in reader spread to prove and printer spread to print. Many designers and publishers are still in the habit of doing this, even though the process can be tedious and confusing and doesn't offer any benefits in the digital print workflow. The good news is designers don't need to do this anymore. InPosition software can read page designed in single page format and lay them out correctly. It can also add proper gutter and spacing to pages based on chosen binding type. Reader spread files, on the other hand, take time to dock, deconstruct, so designers can save time if they just send you pages in order from the start. And here are the settings in Adobe InDesign. You can share with the designers on how to out output print-ready PDFs as books or booklets. So turn off spreads and turn on pages. So second common issue for booklet is designers include print marks in the PDF files. Designers are used to turn these on for traditional press workflow. Similar to business card production, sheet size and imposition layout need to be decided at print shop. So marks can be placed based on the sheet size when imposition is created at pre-press time. Let's look at the correct settings. The designer will need to ensure all these boxes are, are unchecked when creating PDF using Adobe InDesign. Our third issue is around blank pages. Saddle Stitch Booklet is quite popular as it can be easily produced with inline finishers at digital press. However, if a booklet is not designed with finishing option in mind, you can um, often get unnecessary blank pages that ruin the attractiveness of the finished piece. And here's the video to illustrate a booklet designed with unnecessary blank pages uh, printed at the end of the document before the back cover page. So to help eliminate unexpected blank pages at the end of the booklet, um, saddle stitch booklets should have a page count that is divisible by four. So that is um, divisible by four, eight, 12, 16, and so on. So designers should have a page number in mind at design time and use available page count to optimize their saddle stitch booklets. This way the designer can place the last page on the, on the back without adding additional blank pages. And as you see, here's the optimum design example that has all the blank pages removed. So to summarize, in our booklet challenge, we recommend designers to turn off spreads, do not include marks, avoid unnecessary blank pages in saddle stitch booklet design, and finally, get PDF files. Thank you for watching. For additional resources and e-learning classes on this topic, visit our website. To see all recorded sessions and register for upcoming World of Fiery webinars, please visit efi.com forward slash WOF webinars.